What's up athletes and welcome to today's workout. Today we are starting with a little bit of bench press, okay? It's gonna be a four by four at 65% of your one rep max of your bench. You are gonna have a tempo though. It's gonna be a three, two, and one, one. What that means is you have a three second drop on the eccentric, you're gonna have a two second pause hovering right above the chest, and then you're gonna press up fast and hold it maybe for a second before you go into that second rep. So again, each rep should look something like you have that bar, you take it off the hooks, and then you're gonna go three, two, one, one, two, press up, and then again, three, two, one, one, two, press up. So control on the eccentric, a slight pause just above the chest. Don't rest it on your chest, rest it just above, hovering right above the chest, and then press up. Remember that time under tension is how we work that strength. Today we are working with that 65%. Once you are done with your four by four on that bench, then you are gonna go into your Metcon. Today's is a spicy one. You're gonna have about a 25 minute time cap for this, okay? You're gonna start out with 100 double unders or 200 single unders if you're scaling. After that, you're gonna have two dumbbells. Uh, 25 strict press, standing strict press with these dumbbells. Uh, you can kind of hold these dumbbells wherever uh, is more comfortable for you, but you do want the head, one head of the dumbbell on that shoulder, on the shoulders, and then you press up. Remember, the first 25 is a strict press, so that means it's only shoulder strength. You wanna make sure that you're properly bracing that core, that you're not overarching your back. 25 presses, and then after that, you're gonna go for a 15 calorie bike ride on the Concept 2 bike. Then you're gonna go into another 100 double unders or 200 uh, single unders if you're scaling. You're gonna be doing 25 push presses. Now you get to work on that dip and that drive with your legs to use your hips to throw that weight overhead. Okay, you gotta think about the strict presses are heavy, so they might be going in sets of five, uh, maybe sets of 10 if you're able to manage that weight. The push presses should be faster. Now you're looking at probably sets to 10, 10 at a time. Okay, so maybe you do 10, 10, five, or 10, five, 10, whatever the case may be. Then again, you have 15 calorie row, uh, 15 calorie bike ride, I'm sorry. And then you finish off with another 100 double unders or 200 single unders. And then you're doing 25 thrusters. Guys, for that RX, you are doing two 50 pounders. Uh, ladies, for RX, you're doing two 35 pound dumbbells. It is heavy, okay? This is the strength portion. This is the stimulus, okay? So um, try to maintain using the two dumbbells our RX way as possible, even if you modify the um, double under the jump rope and the bike, okay? If you take a long time on the bike, it is what it is, but I want you to really try to work that strength, okay? You're working a just straight shoulder press, then you're doing the dip and drive with the push jerk, and then you're working some more legs with the thrusters, really. In reality, this is one of the few times that the thrusters may seem like one of the easiest parts of a workout, um, even though you will be under fatigue. So again, uh, it will be the uh, jump rope, strict press, bike, jump rope, push press, bike, jump rope, thruster, bike, and that's gonna be for time, okay? Remember, your time cap is gonna be 25 minutes for today. It is a spicy one, guys. As always, we have uh, a nice, good, hard workout on a Wednesday because we have that active recovery coming on a Thursday. Have fun today, guys, and I hope to see you at the gym.